Thank you for taking an interest in Stage 6 Business Studies. This is a unique subject and is very purposeful for all students. Much of the subject content can be related to the business activities and practices you conduct as a customer, as an employee, and hopefully one day as a future business owner. Therefore, this subject can benefit you in many ways, especially if you plan to get a job, manage or, end or own a business, or even invest your money into a public company one day. This subject will attract two units to an ATAR, however the content covered will assist all students as much of the work ethic you need for this subject is no different to the effort you need to put into a real job. Because business activity is a feature of everyone's life, business studies offer students the knowledge about planning for a small business to the management of operations, marketing, finance and human resources in large businesses. In year 11, you'll look more closely at what the nature of business is, looking at its main role as providing goods and services, but you'll also discover that businesses provide many Australians with employment and income, a standard of living that reflects their culture and needs and wants, and also gives opportunities for entrepreneurs to create weird and wonderful products, with some people becoming very wealthy. In the preliminary course, we cover three topics, nature of business, business management, and business planning. And your assessments will include writing a business report on a hypothetical business that your teacher will provide, creating a business plan for actually your own hypothetical business, and then we will finish off the course with an end of preliminary examination. In Year 12, we focus primarily on the four functions of business and we look closely at their main processes, their interdependence with one another and how they survive in a dynamic business environment. The course also lends itself to an understanding of the strategies businesses employ as a response to the many influences such as government, legal and ethical responsibilities. So if you've ever wondered why products are priced and packaged the way they are, marketing will explain all that. In the HSC course, we have four topics, the operations, marketing, finance, and human resources. And your access assessments will include completing a finance report by investigating a large businesses financial information, completing an operations writing task based on your excursion, a marketing plan, and the trial examination. Contemporary business issues and case studies are embedded in the course to provide not only the enthusiasm, but also relevance to the real business environment. This allows for excursions to many of our businesses around the local area. In the HSC course, it's essential that students differentiate themselves from other statewide students through a local case study. So we often go ahead to Casella Wineries in Yenda, or recently we've been to Flip Screen in Wagga. In the past, we've been at Tees in Wagga, Junior Licorice Factory. And then we also investigate Qantas, McDonald's and Apple case studies, which are commonly referred to throughout the HSC course. Your career opportunities are broad, but some of the business studies outcomes assist with tertiary degrees, such as a business management degree, accounting, marketing degree, communications and human resource management degrees. And on a final note, our current class testimonials include, I enjoy business studies because I learn about business concepts that will be useful outside of school, both in the short term and long term. I believe business studies will help me become a better informed consumer, allow me to run my own business one day and allow me to become a better employee when I enter the workforce full time. And the most in interesting thing I have learned in this subject is how to design and plan my own business. Thank you. Thanks for taking an interest in economics. This subject is a category A and is a two unit course. Economics is about how choices are made, how individuals and societies choose to allocate their resources to meet their needs and wants. Economics provides understandings about the many aspects of the economy and its operations that we hear frequently reported in the media. This subject investigates issues such as why unemployment or inflation rates change and how these changes will impact individuals and society. Economics develops students' knowledge and understanding of the operation of the global and Australian economies. And it also develops your analytical problem solving and communication skills. There is a strong emphasis on the problems and issues in the contemporary Australian economy and the policies used to address these issues. In the preliminary course, there are six topics. 
The first one is introduction to economics, and then we look at the role consumers and businesses play in the business economy. We also then look at the markets and the demand and supply and competition. The labour markets, so the workforce and the role of labour and employment in the economy. Then we look at the finance, so things like interest rates. And then lastly, we look at the government involvement in the economy. Assessment wise, we'll be looking at three assessments. One will be a group presentation based on the consumer and business topic. The second task is a research task on the labour markets and their history. And then we have a yearly examination. In the HSC course, we look at four topics, the global economy, the features of the global economy and globalisation, Australians place in the global economy, such as our trade and finance, economic issues such as economic growth, unemployment, inflation, wealth and the environment. And then lastly, we look at the economic policies and the management of those policies. There are four assessment tasks. The first one is a case study. So you'll pick a global economy outside of Australia. You look at the media report. So looking at Australia and its place in the global economy, you'll then do a research task on the economic issues such as unemployment, and then you'll finish your assessments with the trial HSC. The course prepares students for further study in business and commerce and economic courses at university and other tertiary institutions. It will also lead you into many vocational areas, particularly when paired with other subjects. Some examples of careers from the study of economics could be a financial advisor, economic forecasting, trade, politics, stockbroker, consulting, and banking. Excursions can in, allow students to have the opportunity to go to Sydney and visit locations such as the Reserve Bank of Australia and the Australian Stock Exchange. Students may also be able to engage in discussions with state ministers and market analysts. Here is a YouTube clip on four young economists who talk about their skills that they gained from studying economics. Thank you. Economics is a social science and I think that it's easy to forget that economics is about people. Philosophy comes into it, social sciences come into it, health comes into it, a lot of psychology. I chose to study economics because I realised it was a really powerful tool for being part of a conversation. Most people that get into economics, they can see how exciting it is and how useful it is for a whole range of jobs. You can use this problem solving analytical tool set for everything. I love that economics just touches on every facet of daily life. And I think that's because every sort of large or significant public policy decision that impacts us today was originally informed by some sort of economic theory. I truly believe that economics is a way and a construct in which we can talk about deeply human problems and the things which matter to all of us. Geography. Do you enjoy fieldwork and collecting and reflecting on data? Are you interested in looking at the world, analysing problems and creating solutions? Geography is a combination of both human and physical geography, whereby you acquire skills in geographic information systems, cartographic maps and data presentation. Geography gives you the life skills to understand the world around you and interact as a global citizen. It will provide excellent job opportunities, especially in this ever-changing world. Geography helps you to become an engaged and active citizen and will provide you with a well-rounded education. Geography is always in the news. The preliminary course investigates biophysical geography and develops students' knowledge and understanding about the spatial and ecological dimensions of geography. Inquiry methodologies are used to investigate the unique characteristics of our world through fieldwork, geographical skills, and the study of contemporary geographical skills. Course topics include global challenges, biophysical interactions, and a senior geography project. The HSC course enables students to appreciate geographical perspectives about the contemporary world. 
There are specific studies about biophysical and human processes, interactions, and trends. Fieldwork and a variety of case studies combine with an assessment of the geographer's contribution to understanding our environment and demonstrates the relevance of geographical study. Course topics include ecosystems at risk, urban places, and people and economic activity. Geography is a discipline which underpins many vocations in areas of data, environment, science, human development, and urban planning. This means there are a range of jobs for geographers such as meteorologists, politicians, environmental managers, business, teachers, special scientists, and farmers. There are a number of university and TAFE training packages available. There are a number of excursions associated with this course that are compulsory in order for you to conduct your field work. In Year 11, for biophysical interactions, you will go on an excursion to Willans Hill. In Year 12, for ecosystems at risk, there is an excursion to Mount Kosciuszko. This involves two nights staying at Jindabarn and investigating alpine and subalpine environments. In Year 12, for your study on urban places, there is a two-night excursion to Piedmont in Sydney. Hi everyone, my name is Matthew. I was a student at Wagga High and graduated back in 2014. I picked geography as a HSC subject as it was related to my interests in agriculture and urban issues such as planning and the environment. I appreciated that geography was a very hands-on subject and I enjoyed the options for practical field work. Furthermore, geography provided me with a diverse range of learning to help me understand and investigate where my interests lay for deciding what to do after school. Geography has led me into studying a Bachelor of Planning at Macquarie University in Sydney. Anyone who has a keen interest in understanding how the world and society functions would greatly benefit from choosing geography. Whether you have an interest in the environment, sustainability, urban processes, social or community building, selecting geography will give you a wide range of experiences and tastes of the future careers you might be interested in undertaking. All of you will come into contact with the law at some stage of your lives. This may be when you purchase or sell property or enter into a rental agreement when you leave home. As a member of a family and when you start your own, you will be impacted by the rights and responsibilities that are enforceable by the law. It is for this reason it makes sense to study the subject of legal studies to provide you with an understanding and appreciation of the legal system. Legal studies offer students the opportunity to become well informed on legal issues, including the rights and responsibilities essential to develop into active and informed citizens in our society. Overall, students will develop an understanding of complex legal concepts and the purpose and functions of the law in our modern society. The development of high order thinking and research skills is encouraged by a variety of formal and informal assessment tools. Students are encouraged to source and integrate media articles, cases, legislation and other sources of information. This allows them to effectively engage in the use of a rich variety of resources as to actively analyse and evaluate the effectiveness of the Australian legal system. In Year 11 Legal Studies, students will develop a deep understanding of the development of the Australian legal system, the importance of a fair and just legal system, sources of law in Australia and court system, and the mechanisms available for law reform. Students in Year 12 will continue to explore and assess the effectiveness of the Australian legal system in its ability to provide fair and just outcomes for individuals in society. Topics studied are crime, human rights, family law and shelter. Past HSC results in this course have been positive with over 60% of students in 2019 receiving a band 4 or above. Legal studies will provide you with the knowledge to move toward a range of vocations which help support a functioning society, which could include a solicitor, child advocate, social worker, court reporter, 
and working for human rights or UN organisations. University courses may include a Bachelor of Laws, Bachelor of Justice Studies, a Bachelor of Criminology or a Bachelor of Social Science. TAFE courses may include a Business Administration in Legal, Justice Studies, Legal Services and Real Estate and Property Services. The Social Science Faculty provides students opportunities to enrich their knowledge and understanding via a range of excursions and guest speakers organised to supplement student learning in the classroom. Students in Legal Studies visit the Wagga Courthouse, hear from Law Society guest speakers, solicitor visits, police liaison officer discussions, the possibility of attending Sydney to visit the courts and the Sydney Jewish Museum and HSC lectures. Please note that 80% of the marks in the HSC examination come from extended response questions, so the ability to write well is critical. I chose legal studies specifically because I always had the intention of being a lawyer after school, but other than that, I knew that it would be a subject that would give me a well-rounded view on the world and the issues in our society, and I knew that it would be a subject that would challenge my assumptions about the world and give me a really good um, balance of values. Legal studies was exceptionally useful. I have a well-rounded knowledge of the Australian legal system and justice system. Every topic we studied each term was relevant and contemporary to the world we are currently living in. And I think you'll get out of it what you put into it. You have to be prepared to do the hard work and that's when the subject will be most beneficial. You don't necessarily need to want to study law after school to study it in year 11 and 12. It's a really good subject to balance out the um, normal school subjects. It really allows you to have a different perspective on things. You have to be prepared to put the knowledge that you learn into critical writing. So I would recommend if you enjoy or are willing to improve your essay writing skills, then this subject is probably most beneficial for you. The Legal Studies excursion to Sydney was amazing. Everything we covered related to each topic that we studied in the actual course, so I can guarantee that you'll get something practical out of it. And it really gives you a better perspective on the topics you are studying because you get to see them happening in real life. You get to see raw examples. Studying Legal Studies has been especially helpful for me after school as I am pursuing a law degree. However, even if you didn't want to pursue that, I think it's great because you become a better decision maker, a better critical thinker, and you just have a better knowledge of the world. Society Culture is a course which is a combination of sociology, psychology, anthropology, human behaviour, political science and social justice. The course aims to develop a student's knowledge, understanding, skills, values and attitudes essential to achieving social and cultural literacy by examining their interactions between persons, societies, cultures and environments across time. This is achieved through case studies from a variety of traditional and industrialised cultures. The preliminary course consists of students looking at topics such as the nature of the social and cultural world, personal and social identity and coming of age, and intercultural communication. Students will develop a knowledge of social theories, communication and barriers to communication across different cultures, and social research skills and methodologies. Students in the HSC course look at topics such as the social and cultural continuity and change, and depth studies, which are to be selected from belief systems and ideologies, social inclusion and exclusion, popular culture, and social conformity and non-conformity. 40% of the HSE examination mark is completed before students sit their exam. This is in the form of the Personal Interest Project, known as the PIP, which is a major work, a research task in which students select, research and investigate a topic of their choosing that is relevant to the concepts and methodologies of the course. Research includes methodologies such as interviews, surveys, questionnaires, focus groups, content analysis blended with personal experience and published resources. Students begin this task at the start of their HSC course and have approximately nine months to work on it in class and in their own time. 
students should ensure that they assign adequate time to this project. Society and culture provides a thorough understanding of persons and society and is appropriate for students seeking careers in psychology, sociology, law, politics, journalism, communications and media studies, business administration and travel and teaching. In society and culture, students develop skills in research, analysis and communication and are well prepared for university or TAFE as they have developed independent research skills. Possible excursions dependent on chosen depth studies include links with the Multicultural Council, the Fusion Festival, Sydney visiting Cabramatta, the Jewish Museum, Chinatown, Newtown, the Kemba Mosque, Big Issue Office and the Rough Edges Program. Canberra, visiting the Enlightened Festival, a HSE Study Day and also a PIP Day. I chose Society and Culture because I was really interested in commerce in my junior years and I knew this subject would really align well with my senior studies. I knew the subject was really global and I was interested in culture and how culture influenced the world that we live in. Society and culture is for anyone who wants to learn about culture and global trends, attitudes and music. You also do have to be willing to put what you learn into critical writing and essays. The PIP is a lengthy research project, but the freedom you have in choosing your own topic or social issue makes the experience a lot more enjoyable. I would recommend just chipping away at it a little bit each week. It makes the whole process a lot less daunting and pick a topic that you really are passionate about because it makes the interview process and getting out and getting first-hand um, information a lot easier. Society and culture has given me a broad knowledge of social issues and trends, and I now know how to predict what the future will look like for both me and our whole society. Society and culture has provided me with practical knowledge that I can apply day to day that I may not have gained through the traditional school subject. The exam is a lot more manageable because it's actually only half your mark considering you do the PIP. So I found that this relieved a lot of pressure throughout the school year and the exam period. The exam reflects the subject really well. I found that everything we learnt was reflected in the exam and I could balance it very easily and especially the study. I was fortunate enough to get a band six in the society and culture subject. So this really proves that it is manageable and it is something that Wagga High students can strive for and it really improves your ATAR as a whole across the whole board.